Photography enthusiasts and professionals alike are buzzing with anticipation for the latest innovations from one of the industry's top giants, Nikon. Known for their cutting-edge technology and commitment to quality, Nikon is expected to unveil a lineup of cameras that promise to redefine the standards of photography. From sleek mirrorless models to robust DSLRs, each new release is poised to offer an array of features designed to capture life's moments with unparalleled clarity and creativity. Join us as we explore the exciting new frontier of Nikon's camera technology that awaits us this year. First, let's welcome Liam, who will update you about the Z6 Mark III. At the heart of the speculation surrounding the Nikon Z6 III lies its imaging capabilities, rumored to include the ability to capture stunning 6K video at a smooth 60 frames per second in Nikon RAW format. For videographers seeking versatility and uncompromising quality, the prospect of shooting 4K footage at an impressive 120 frames per second, albeit with a crop, offers a tantalizing proposition. Furthermore, the inclusion of 4K60 full ProRes RAW support signifies Nikon's commitment to catering to the demands of professional filmmakers. In tandem with its video prowess, the Nikon Z6 III is rumored to sport a new and improved electronic viewfinder, boasting an impressive resolution of 5.76 million dots. This advancement promises enhanced clarity and detail, providing photographers with a more immersive shooting experience. Complementing the upgraded EVF is an improved LCD display, further elevating the camera's usability and ensuring accurate framing and playback. On the stills front, the Nikon Z6 III is rumored to deliver impressive performance, capable of capturing images at a rapid rate of 20 frames per second in RAW format with 14-bit depth. Additionally, photographers can expect the ability to shoot stills at an astonishing 120 frames per second in JPEG format, opening up new creative possibilities for capturing fleeting moments with unparalleled precision. The Nikon Z6 III is also rumored to feature a high-speed mechanical shutter with a maximum speed of 1 by 16000 seconds, allowing photographers to freeze fast-paced action with exceptional clarity and detail. Furthermore, with 299 autofocus points, the camera is poised to deliver swift and accurate subject tracking, ensuring that even the most elusive subjects remain sharply in focus. In a nod to the demands of modern workflows, the Nikon Z6 III is speculated to offer dual memory card slots, accommodating both CF Express and SD formats. This dual slot configuration provides photographers with flexibility and redundancy, allowing for seamless storage management and data backup. In terms of design, the Nikon Z6 III is rumored to inherit the sleek and ergonomic aesthetics of its predecessors, with slight dimensional adjustments to accommodate enhancements such as the improved LCD hinge. The inclusion of a PSAM dial offers intuitive control over exposure settings, catering to the preferences of both novice and seasoned photographers alike. Furthermore, the Nikon Z6 III is said to feature a button layout reminiscent of the flagship Nikon Z8, providing familiarity for users transitioning between different models within the Z-Series lineup. Despite these refinements, the camera maintains the same overall height, with minor increases in width and thickness compared to its predecessor. In terms of build quality, the Nikon Z6 III is rumored to exhibit the same robust construction as its predecessors, with slight weight gain attributed to the incorporation of new features and enhancements. However, this increase in weight is likely to be negligible, ensuring that the camera remains comfortably portable for extended shooting sessions. Powering the Nikon Z6 III is the reliable ENEL15 battery, ensuring long-lasting performance and allowing photographers to focus on capturing the perfect shot without worrying about running out of power. In conclusion, the rumored specifications of the Nikon Z6 III paint a compelling picture of a versatile and capable camera poised to meet the diverse needs of photographers and videographers alike. With its advanced imaging capabilities, ergonomic design, and seamless integration into modern workflows, the Nikon Z6 III promises to be a worthy successor to its esteemed lineage, further cementing Nikon's position as a leader in the world of digital imaging. Now here's John to talk about the Z50 Mark II. 
When the Z50 was first introduced in the fall of 2019, it received criticism from photographers and gear reviewers. Now, this was not because the camera lacked capability, but rather because the available lenses were limited to expensive full-frame options and slow-kit zooms. Sigma also expressed interest in the system during that time, however, three months later, Nikon improved the situation by launching its own DX 24mm f-stop 1.7 lens, which was lighter, more compact, and more affordable than Sigma's offering. These advantages apply not only to the Z50, but also to Nikon's other two current DXZ mount cameras, the Z30 and ZFC, as they all share the same 20.9 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor. Now, the latest information suggests that Nikon's upcoming DX camera, the Z50 Mark II, is set to be released in the first quarter of 2024, assuming everything stays on schedule. This is earlier than the previous anticipated timeline of June to October 2024 for the announcement of the Nikon Z52 camera. Given the reception of the original Z50, is there anything worth waiting for? Thankfully, Nikon heeded the feedback and implemented substantial operational and algorithmic adjustments to address the criticisms. Ongoing software updates with the latest Z50 firmware released in just two months ago are ensuring that the Z mount remains competitive in comparison to other mirrorless options. In the upcoming version, a substantial improvement in autofocus capabilities and enhanced video recording specifications are anticipated based on initial hints. This camera isn't exclusively designed for photographers like its predecessor the Nikon C50, but is also geared towards meeting the needs of content creators and cinematographers. These are all just pure speculation, but it seems likely that Nikon will release some sort of update for the Z50. The camera has been around for 4 years now, indicating that Nikon may need to make some updates to their APS-C lineup. It's unclear whether the ZFC was a significant upgrade or just the same camera in a different design. Additionally, their entire entry and mid-level FX lineup is also becoming outdated. A few suggestions come to mind improving the controls and incorporating a larger electronic viewfinder and I just might be interested. Considering the availability of excellent lenses, thoughts naturally drift towards what one might desire in the next camera companion. Features like an autofocus joystick, in-body image stabilization and improved battery life all sound appealing. If you use a DXZ mount body, what improvements would you like to see in the future DXZ mount cameras? Up next, we have Drew to update you on the Z9H and the Z7 Mark III. While details remain tightly under wraps, early reports suggest Nikon is prepping the Z9H with its own global shutter sensor to match Sony's latest innovation. This could give the Z9H a key edge in distortion-free capture of subjects in rapid motion. This would be a game-changing upgrade over traditional electronic shutters for sports, action, and wildlife photographers. Global shutter captures the entire scene at the exact same moment, eliminating the distortions that can occur with the rolling shutter method of sensor readout. Sony's A93 has showcased how this can bring new levels of imaging accuracy when photographing fast movement or action. The Z9H having the same ability would allow Nikon to compete powerfully with Sony's offering. Not only does the global shutter provide distortion-free images of speeding subjects, but it also enables shooting with flash sync at any shutter speed. This opens up a whole new world of creative opportunities for lightning fast motion that was never before possible. The A93 demonstrated this by allowing flash up to the 1 400th of a second electronic shutter speed. If the rumored Nikon Z9H matches or even surpasses this capability, it will unlock new potential for sports and action photographers seeking to add a lighting element to frozen moments. To enable the incredibly fast sensor readout required for global shutter, rumors suggest the Z9H will compensate with a lower resolution of around 20 to 24 megapixels, down from the Z9's 45 megapixel count. However, Nikon could follow Sony's lead in including a high-resolution composite mode to create huge 240 megapixel images when extreme detail is preferred over sheer speed. Sony also opted for a lower base resolution, with the A93 at 24 megapixels to maximize performance, so Nikon lowering megapixels makes sense following this formula. 
beyond the global shutter, the Z9H is tipped to push speed boundaries even farther, possibly hitting an astonishing 120 FPS continuous shooting rate with full autofocus and auto exposure. This would surpass even the electronics bending 30 FPS continuous burst potential of Nikon's current Z9. Blazing speeds like this define new opportunities in capturing decisive moments of action. The rumored specs suggest the Z9H is aimed squarely at top-tier sports photographers needing to nail visually explosive moments at a breakneck pace. For Nikon, this camera would represent a new flagship and a chance to redefine its prominence in professional sports and action photography. While Nikon has fierce mirrorless competition from Sony's stacked sensor technology, utilizing benefits like global shutter shows Nikon still has tricks up its sleeve. Sony may have fired first with the A9 III, but Nikon looks ready to aggressively answer back. Of course, details on the Z9H remain firmly in the rumor stage, but with the 2024 Paris Olympics approaching, the timing seems ripe for Nikon to launch its most technologically advanced pro camera to date. Packed with the best it has to offer, like next-gen sensor tech, the Z9H could aim to set a new benchmark in speed, accuracy, and image quality. For photographers on elite fields of athletic competition, this camera may be the ultimate tool for capturing moments of tremendous exertion, motion, and drama. While the Z9H is still shrouded in mystery, these early rumblings offer a compelling glimpse of Nikon's potential response to Sony's recent volley. We'll be keeping a close watch on rumors surrounding this exciting unannounced camera. But for now, the Z9H remains firmly in the realm of speculation. Still, its possibilities are enough to quicken pulses of sports and action shooters everywhere. The game is on, and Nikon looks ready to make its next bold move. To begin with, Nikon Z7 Mark III will feature a higher resolution sensor compared to its predecessor. It is expected to have a 61.2 megapixel sensor, whereas the Z7 Mark II has a 45.7 megapixel sensor. This means that the Z7 Mark III will be able to capture more intricate details and produce larger prints. Nikon is clearly aiming to compete with the Sony A7R5 and the Canon R5 Mark II in this regard. Furthermore, the introduction of the Nikon Z8 shows Nikon's commitment to pushing boundaries in camera technology. However, it's important to note that the Z7 III and Z8 will serve different purposes. The Z8 is designed for action photography, while the Z7 III is geared towards landscape photography. It's possible that the buffer capacity of the Z7 III may be smaller than that of the Z7 II due to the increase in resolution. Nevertheless, the inclusion of a double X Speed 7 processor and CF Express cards should significantly improve the performance and handling of high resolution files in the Z7 III. Now let's delve into the video capabilities of these cameras. Both the Z7 Mark III and Z7 Mark II can shoot 4K video, but there are some noteworthy differences. The Z7 Mark III offers a higher maximum frame rate of 60 FPS at a 1.2X crop or 120 FPS at a 1.5x crop. In comparison, the Z7 Mark II provides 4K video at 60 FPS with 93% sensor coverage, resulting in approximately a 1.08x crop. Additionally, the Z7 Mark III stands out by being able to shoot 4K video at 30 FPS without any crop, which is a significant advantage for videographers. It's worth noting that it's unlikely Nikon will add a 4K 120p function to these cameras, as doing so might diminish the uniqueness of their most popular model, the Z8. In terms of design, the Z7 Mark III will maintain the same body structure as the Z7 Mark II. However, there are notable differences in certain aspects. The Z7 Mark III will sport a higher resolution electronic viewfinder, or EVF, with 5.76 million dots, whereas the Z7 Mark II has a 3.69 million dots EVF. Both cameras will share a 3.2-inch rear LCD screen with 2.1 million dots. Regarding storage options, both cameras will have a single CF Express XQD card slot and a single UHS-2 SD card slot. However, the Z7 Mark III will utilize a new EN-EL15C battery, which is CIPA rated to last for 420 shots with the LCD and 360 shots with the EVF. 
In contrast, the Z7 Mark II uses an older ENEL 15B battery, which is rated for 400 shots with the LCD and 360 shots with the EVF. Furthermore, the Z7 Mark III will be compatible with a new MB and 11 battery grip that includes vertical controls, while the Z7 Mark II is compatible with the older MB and 10 battery grip. There is very limited information available about the price of the Nikon Z7 Mark III. It's positioned as the successor to the Nikon Z7 Mark II and a competitor to the Canon EOS R5, so its price is expected to fall in the range of $3,3500. Additionally, Nikon is reportedly planning to release the successor to the Nikon Z6 Mark II after launching the Z8 and ZF models. As a result, we can anticipate the release of the Z7 Mark III sometime in the fourth quarter of 2023 or early in 2024. So are you excited for it? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And finally, updating you about the Z4's new features, here's Dan. Speculation comes from an older Nikon patent that showcased the camera design without an electronic viewfinder and a minimal physical interface. Nikon will emit the EVF in this compact full-frame mirrorless camera to minimize production costs. Judging by the design and patent applications, we think it'll be in competition with the original Sony a7C and the price range also suggests that it's the replacement for the Nikon Z5. Nikon introduced it as an entry-level full-frame mirrorless camera around three years ago in 2020. This camera utilized the 24.32 megapixel CMOS sensor in the FX format along with an XSpeed 6 image processor. It had a maximum ISO sensitivity of 51,200 which allowed for clear and sharp images with minimal noise. Additionally, Nikon ensured reduced noise in captured photos and the Z5 camera offered several noteworthy features. These features included in-camera vibration reduction that stabilized the shutter speed, providing an equivalent of approximately 5 stops of stabilization. The camera also boasted an extensive 273-point composite autofocus system covering a wide frame range. This autofocus system included eye detection AF for both humans and animals, specially designed for dogs and cats. As per these specs, there was no other camera that could beat the Z5, so it's obvious why they want to recreate the success in the budget segment. In other news, Nikon is also venturing into new possibilities in the world of frame rates with the introduction of an impressive 4K camera capable of capturing up to 1000 frames per second. Historically, Nikon hasn't focused on high frame rates, but that's about to change. This groundbreaking camera will feature an advanced stacked CMOS image sensor proudly labeled by Nikon as having the world's highest levels of sensor performance. The sensor incorporates cutting-edge wafer-level wire connection technology and boasts a pixel size of 2.7 micrometers, which is quite impressive. With a pixel count of around 17.8 megapixels, this sensor enables high-resolution 4K to 4K imaging at a remarkable 1000 frames per second, along with an exceptional dynamic range of 110 decibels. It's worth noting that this camera is primarily intended for industrial applications rather than consumer use at this point. There is hope that similar technology may eventually find its way into consumer-grade models, following the path laid out by Panasonic and Sony. While some individuals eagerly await another Z product, others argue that the existing Z5 sufficiently caters to the market segment below the Z6 or Z7. Now, all the indications suggest that this new camera will likely occupy a lower position in Nikon's lineup compared to the Z5 model. Typically, it takes about 2-3 to three years for a patent to materialize into an actual product. A patent related to Nikon Z4 was applied in 2021, so hopefully we'll get to see the Nikon Z4 by next year. Nikon Z5 was initially priced at $1,399. As per the rumors, Z5 will also be in this ballpark. There are very few reliable cameras below the $1,500 tag. Canon EOS R8, Fujifilm X-S20, and Sony A6600 are a few of them. If you immediately need a camera in the budget segment, surely get one of these. Otherwise, we'll suggest you wait a few more months and you won't be disappointed. So, what do you think about the upcoming Nikon Z4 and the 1000 frames per second camera? Share your thoughts in the comments down below and consider subscribing for more content like this on your feet. As always, thanks for watching. So, those are all new cameras we can expect from Nikon this year. Do share your thoughts with us. We'd love to hear your takes. As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.